Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Did did you have a busy day? Are you struggling on learning? <laughs> so I'm struggling on teaching and recording those videos. So this video we are gonna talk about static resources is how it's being handled in Express. Okay. So, what are the static resources? Uh, <coughs> here, uh, HTML actually is static resources, but we can we will replace tomorrow. So, in our project, okay, we built in last video or in previous videos. We here we 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 don't consider as okay, but it actually is a static resources. And what others? It's a CSS files, it's JS files, and it's images, most likely for web application. And here, I think you guys are very clear about CSS file and images or other files like a PDF, they are static resources. But the JS, oh, uh, you might think, okay, sorry, you might think here the routes, shop, uh, app, all of them are JS file. They are they the static files? No, because app.js, admin, and shop.js, they're all running inside the node. Okay, the JS file I'm referring is the JS file gonna be running in the browser. Okay, those JS files are usually attach events. Suppose in the browser you click one button, then it disappear, uh, then something disappear or something shown. Those JS files to handle those events, which happened in the browser, is uh, considered as a static uh, resources. I'm talking about. So in a enterprise application for static files, especially in Express, normally we are gonna have a pi public folder. This is a by convention, okay? You can name as something ABC as one. By by convention, we name as public. Then suppose this one is for CSS. We create a CSS here, and let's create a CSS called the main.css, okay? And in the main analysis, I just have a background. What's your favorite color? Okay, I don't have a formatter. Okay, let's install one. Uh, let's using, how about using this one? See how many people installed. Oh, this one has lots of people. Yeah, yeah. This one has lots. Let's install this one. Okay, installed. Then let's format. Okay, then here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. See, <laughs> something is wrong. Okay, body. Okay, and the background. What's your favorite color? Background. Okay. Background, right? Why? Okay, and we give a color. Uh, my <laughs> pink. Okay. My phone case is pink. My water bottle is pink, white. So I'm kind of like a pink, okay? So you can leave a comment, what's your favorite color? Okay, uh, now I have, I want to use this main of CSS link into my HTML, okay? So how to do that? Here I have a link, right? Then I have href and I have rel which is the relation between, this is a style, sheets, okay. So how can I give URL here? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This one. How can I configure here? So you might think, how about we do as other find the HTML, right? Here, based on the folder structure, I found my HTML. So currently, I'm on add, H add product, which is under the view, right? So I will go back to where? To the day five, and I will go to public. Then I will go to 
CSS. I'm going to make another CSS. Okay. So if this way works, then in my browser, I should see what? I should see pink background, right? Let's take a look at this one called uh, admin add product. Oh, doesn't it work? Mm. It means it doesn't work. This way it doesn't work because we haven't tell Express how to handle for these uh, files, these static files. Okay, we haven't tell. So Express don't know. <coughs> and if you open inspect element, <coughs> excuse me, and open network. And let's make the request again. You will see get this main.css return 404, which is based on this URL. It cannot find. Okay. It cannot find. Okay. And see 200 which is referred to this html it find for the four style sheets it cannot find this one is by default it's gonna favor find uh looking for a favorite icon which is the icon before that before here if we go to google okay here we have icon did you see here but the hour don't have because we don't have the favorite icon here so now we have to tell express to handle for the static files how to tell we add a middleware we can add here but make sure add before the all the routes okay app yo yeah, yeah. we should uh, wait let's add it here because that's a common device app dot use express the uh, express dot static okay and you can give a path then you can give uh, the static tag two parameter okay the first one is the string the second one is the oh uh, yes the first one is the string value for if you want to change the url the uh, second one is the uh location we have to find that uh, location okay so now let's using path okay path dot join and then we are looking for current folder and uh, current folder is day five then we will go to public okay after we are doing that well, if I want to make a call to get main.css, okay, which means when I make a call to HTTP local host 3000, okay, this is to your public folder, okay. This URL here will access files under your public folder. So now I'm on public folder. How can I reach main.css? So I'm here. We just go in CSS, then go to main.css. Okay. So if I copy this one and put in the browser, it should download our CSS successfully. See here? See background pink. Okay, and now how to use it in our HTML file? Just copy whatever after the port number. So I will put here. Okay, now let's run one more time, see if it works. I can clear the, what's the, uh, the cookie. Okay, and now you see everything is pink. Okay. This is uh, one way, okay? There's another way, yes, we, for security reason, we don't want to expose our project, which is this source code structure, to the user. 
and uh, to protect that we can have another way which is app dot use additionally you can give something which doesn't which is kind of like a something you want okay like a, i can give abc okay then i give public here so now if when if i setting like this okay if i set it like this way which means when i make a call http slash slash localhost 3000 to abc okay so far my uil is till here right then when you do here your package is till public which means when you make a call to this url you are under this public folder public folder okay so now i'm on the public how can i get main.css we continue right we continue using like this way we continue i'm on, on the public how can i get this one we're using slash css slash main.css okay and now how can i change inside this html uh, let me show you this one it works it's gonna download okay so now if i do this one it won't get the main.css you will see page number found but now if i using this new url you will see the CSS content, right? And now, how can I config in our HTML? You just copy everything after this port number. So we copy and put everything after this port number. Okay, now let's do one more time. It still works, okay? And another thing is for, uh, let me give you another example if you still cannot understand. Mm, you can leave a comment okay suppose now i config app dot use or oh, let me copy i don't want to type again okay slash abc but here i using css so i comment this one now i give you three three seconds to think about what's the ui are gonna be three two one okay now here is the answer as before let's take a look at when i make a call to hp slash localhost 3000 slash abc slash abc you just take a look at the last folder name okay slash abc it will match to the css folder it will go to css folder so if I make a call, if I make a call to this URL now, you are under CSS folder. Okay, you are under this folder. So now how can I reach main.css? You just append slash main.css, right? Okay, so now I do like this way. I don't change anything. This one shouldn't work. Okay, and this one shouldn't work. Okay, but now how can I, I copy the new URL here? Because ABC means to CSF folder. CSF folder is here. And how can I get main CSS? Just append main CSS. Okay, now this one should work. You will see the CSS, but this one still not work. How to make it work? Copy everything after 3000 and to your href. And let's test again. It works. Okay. So this is how to handle static content. Okay. You can using the default. You can using this way. You can using this way. Okay. Any way you like, which works is fine. Okay. So that's it for the static resources. And uh, hope after three demos you understand okay if you still don't understand you can leave a comment okay or you can fly to fairfield iowa okay <laughs> then i can answer you in person okay so uh thank you for watching this video see you tomorrow bye bye